The final question, solve for x if fx is less than gx. What does this mean? Well, this simply means that the graph of f is smaller or lower than the graph of g. For which x values will that be true? Well, let's go look at the graph. When is f lower than g? Well, f will be less than g, not here, because here f is higher and g is lower. For any x value on here, we see that f is still greater than g. Any x value will first meet f and then we meet g. Okay? But when we are between these two points, between the point C and point K, then we see that G is higher than F. That means that F is below the G function on this portion. So we need to figure out what is this value and what is that value. We already know the value of K. But between these two x values, let's go and work it out. First of all, here we should substitute the function formula for f. So we find that f is x squared plus 3x minus 4. We can preview it just to see if we entered correctly we go and g is 2x minus 2 okay and now we can see in the next step everything was taken to the one side because now it's not less than 2x minus 2 instead it's less than 0 so what do we have we have x squared okay plus the 3x but then 2x is subtracted on both sides so now we have instead of plus 3x we just have plus 1x and finally minus 4 the negative 2 is added on both sides so we have a plus 2 on both sides so instead of having negative 4 we have negative 2 preview there we go x squared plus x minus 2 is less than 0 and now we need to solve this to find a value for x, the interval in which we can find x. We do so by solving the following inequality. x squared plus x minus 2 is greater than, sorry, is less than 0. So we have two brackets. x is positive 2 and x is negative 2. 1. That must be less than 0. Now remember we can't just go now and say x plus 2 is less than 0 or x minus 1 is less than 0. No, what this is telling us is that these two brackets, if I multiply them with each other, I get less than 0, which means the one must be positive and the other one must be negative or the one must be negative and the other one must be positive. But a better way of looking at it is just to go and draw a simple parabola, write the two intercepts there. This one will be negative 2 and that one will be 1 that I get from solving these parts. And then I see I want less than. So I want the graph that is below the x-axis. Okay. not included which means I am working with this area which means these x values which means that x is an element starting from negative 2 all the way up to 1 but they are not included otherwise I would have used a block bracket closed bracket okay that's our final answer enter it negative 2 comma 1 preview it it looks correct let's submit our answer see if we are correct